Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try a few things here. And what I have here is I've been rummaging through some of my old school stuff and I found a kind of a poem book from English class. I'm sure that a lot of people are used to this. And on every single page, there's a different poem, a different title, etc. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna give you the book and I'm just gonna have you go to any poem. So choose any poem that you like. I'm gonna turn around. Okay. So you found the poem? Yes. Perfect. So now I'm going to have you just, in your head, read the first line of the poem. The first? So not the title, but the actual first line. Okay. And let's just start this out. I'm going to try and see if I can get a word from there, from the first line. Maybe a word that's not very common in everyday language. Um, maybe there's one or two that could fit the bill, but what I'm getting here is a strong presence of two letters that are the same in the middle of the word. Yes. They yes. Are. Um, can you just think of this word? Are you think is it the word doom? Yes, it yes, is. it is the word doom. Perfect. Yeah. So now that we've got that, I want you to actually read the poem to yourself. So just in your head, read the poem, and while you're reading it, try to get the feeling of the poem. And if there's any colors that are mentioned, lock in the color in your mind. So just read it out and tell me when you're done. So have you yeah, finished? I'm done, yes. Perfect. So now what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just think of the emotions from the poem. So I already know that this is not, I'm not getting any positive emotions. This is more like a sad or a negative or a more kind of sorrowful poem. So it's not very happy. Kind of. And is there any colors that are mentioned or a presence of a color inside of the poem? Yes, there is. Yes, there are. Um, just imagine this color in front of you. Is it the color blue? It's kind of yes. blue. Yes, that's the color. So now the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to play a game. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go on the last line of the poem. So the last line. So not the author, but for the last oh, yeah, line. Yeah, I know, I know. And go for the longest, most interesting word within that uh, line. So just take that in mind. You have yes, it? Yes, of course. Can you remember how to write it and everything? Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. Yes, so you can just close the book and just place everything to the side. So now we're going to play a game of Hangman. And the thing is, I've gotten so good at this game that I never lose. So I never, ever lose a game of Hangman. So first... We're just gonna draw here the podium for the hangman, and then I'm gonna have you draw the cases for the amount of leather letters of your word. The cases, squares? So just the lines at the bottom, just like this. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn around and we're gonna play the game. So as I say the letters, if they contribute, you're gonna fill them up. If not, you're just gonna draw on the hangman. So first I'm getting, focus on the letters, I'm getting the letter R. Is the letter R in your word? Yes, it is. Yes, can you please sit uh, where it is? Yes. I'm also immediately from the R, I'm getting the letter T. Yeah. Yeah, can you fill that in? And also from the T, I feel there's the letter E somewhere in the word, yes. correct? Can you fill that up? Is there, so, E, but there's also something similar to E, I, like an I, is there an I? Yes, of course it is. So, uh, perfect. There's also a G, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. And an N, so a G and an N. Yeah. You're missing two. So there should be two left. I feel there's an L. Yes. There's an L in that as well. Uh, and the last, the last letter should be an A, right? The last letter should be an A? Yes. So the, your word was alerting, alerting, just like that. So thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome.